Greetings, comic friends. I have a um, special sort of instructional video here on uh, cleaning pressing techniques, uh, and we're 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 going to demonstrate it on um, a pretty a pretty good book here. So, Journey to Mystery number eighty three, first appearance of Thor. Um, this this book um, has seen better days. For sure, uh, this definitely had some water damage at some point way back in the day. Um, there are a number of, of uh, issues with it. It's it has a little bit of that starting to have a little bit of that Marvel chipping um, over there. Uh, I'm not sure how well you can see there. You can see some water stain up here. Maybe you can see that a, a little bit. Uh, it becomes a lot more obvious at uh, different angles so on the back definitely here you can see um, where it looks like it was probably sitting on another book and got kind of peeled off so I think we're seeing some ink uh, of, of another book maybe a little bit of molding um, here you can see real well the this the color distinction the waterline distinction Um, so when a book gets wet and then it's just kind of left to sit, it's, it's, you know, it starts to curl up a little bit, not like curl up, curl up, but it starts to, to warp. Uh, and then it just kind of stays that way. And pressing this out is a lot more difficult than a book that hasn't been water stained. So the the, the um, moisture has locked in the shape even harder than it was just kind of sitting there. So and, you know, I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see some of this stuff. Um, but you see there, yep, oh, this shows up pretty good. See some rippling there, rippling, rippling, rippling. Um, generally, it's kind of wavy. Um, maybe you can see a little bit. I'm also holding it so that, you know it might be a little bit but it, it definitely doesn't lay flat um, let's see here you can see that's popping up a little bit um, I'm not sure how well you can tell the the you can if, if, if I could record in 3d <laughs> is this it looks like the set the this like around the mystery is kind of like bubbled up it definitely sits higher so this is the center here is like indented bubbled down I guess you would say um, the along the bottom it's pretty okay which makes sense because all the moisture was up here at the um, at the top so if I were to just press this um, it probably get a little bit better uh, but not as good as it could be so what I'm going to do is put it in a humidity chamber. Uh, so I'll have it sit in a humidity chamber and it will get some moisture into it. Uh, again, we're not gonna like straight wet it down. We're just going to allow some humidity to saturate the book. Um, so, and, and the idea is to basically do what already happened to the book, but in reverse get some moisture in it, making it more pliable. And instead of it letting, letting it just sit and sort of curl up, we're gonna put it into a press once it's moisturized. And then it, with that moisture, it's the, 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 what's kind of locked in will loosen up and will flatten it instead of letting it, you know, put it in the press and it'll be it'll, it'll reinforce it being flat instead of you know curling up so a little bit of moisture loosen it up try to undo the the um, water warping that's already done and essentially add our own warping but our warping is for it to be flat <laughs> um, so that's that's what we're going to do so I'm going to talk a little bit about how to create a humidity chamber. Um, it's not hard. Um, 
It's not expensive. It's pretty easy. So I'll show you my setup. Uh, and I literally got everything for this just by going to Target. Um, there's all kinds of different alternatives you can do, but this will give you the general idea of what makes a humidity chamber. So let's go take a look at that. All right, so this is about the best angle <laughs> that I could get to show this thing um, with a stationary camera uh, and something that's, that's this big. So hopefully this will, um, this will work. Uh, so first thing is getting a bin. And this is just a storage bin, um, something with a lid, right? So this is just, this is, this is just your old, um, I might not be able to see that, but Sterilite uh, bin. Um, let me see, what size is this? So the sticker on the side. Uh, it's a 90 quart, 90 quart bin. Uh, mostly it's just to make sure that it's long enough to hold um, a, a comic that's that's open. Um, so I have a few things in here. <clears throat> so the, the idea of the humidity chamber is you have an enclosed space. So in this case, this plastic bin with a lid. Um, you pour water in the bottom of it. You seal it. And then you let it sit for an amount of time. Uh, and as the water evaporates, then it sort of it starts to, to soak into the paper um, of the book and, and moisturize it. Uh, so, you know, again, this is scary, right? Because you have water uh, and your paper comic. So you have to be very, very careful with it um, and make sure that it doesn't get exposed to any of the water. So... And actually, I already have some water in here because I, I, I had something in here already. Um, so I'm just, the, the water is it's still in there. Um, so let's kind of deconstruct this. So what you have to do is, you know, obviously have a way to have the, the, the book lifted up off the bottom high enough so water isn't going to, to get up in it. Uh, so however you do that, you know, there's all kinds of things. Um, and I got all this at Target. This was, I don't know, it's, it's some kind of mesh tray. Uh, I don't even know what it's for, but I saw that and like, well, yep, that's the, that's the right length. Uh, it had, it being sort of mesh is nice because it's not, um, the moisture can come right up through the, the bottom, uh, and it was, it's just perfect. I, you know, I, I have no idea what this is. I just saw it in the, like the kitchen section and like, holy crap, it looks like it was just made for this. Um, uh, and you know, anything just to prop, to prop that up, uh, in this case, or in my case, Again, at Target, um, these are just little, I don't know, little bins. Um, they say they are drawer organizers, but it's just a couple of these little, these little bins here flipped upside down. Um, I, I liked I liked that they're definitely tall enough to get off the water and they're also they're also pretty wide both ways so what I liked about these is that it definitely gave sort of stable grounding for um, the the tray part thing to sit on and I'm not worried about you know I, I've seen some people do it where they have like uh, like a little thing here, a little thing here, a little thing here, a little thing here. The concern with that is if it gets bumped or something like that, if one of them falls out, then whatever you have the comic sitting on, tips, gets in the water, and oh no. I got these. It was a little more expensive than just some sort of cheap little thing to, to, to hold it up, but I these are definitely more stable. So I'm, I, I'm not real worried about the, um, the, the mesh tray getting knocked um, or the, the footings getting knocked out. 
Uh, and then I also have um, this uh, humidifier or humidity detector or whatever. I don't know what you call it. Um, but it, gives, it tells you the percent of um, humidity that's in there. Uh, and then I have this actually thing I just kind of had as like a Tupperware thing. Um, I put that in there to set this on top of because there's you know there's water in the bottom. I don't I don't want this to be in the water. So this just sits right here on top, um, so I can keep an eye on the humidity that's in there at at any time. Uh, and I mean that's basically it. That's a simple humidity chamber. Um, so things to uh, definitely look out for. <clears throat> Um, so, okay, so I'll also say, so I have this on there, to kind of get these back to where I wanted them, a little more center there. Uh, I also, I didn't want the book sitting directly on, um, the grate, so don't have to get fancy, don't have to get fancy. Just, just lay some paper tile down there. Uh, so things, things to look out for with, with this. And, and the reason that I use something simple like paper towel. So you could do something like a regular towel, right? Um, if you can find one that fits your space perfectly, the thing that you have to look out for, you if, if you don't have something that just lays down there perfectly, is if whatever what, what, whatever you have your comics, your books sitting on, whether it's paper towel or cloth or whatever, if part of that falls off into the water over time, water, like, it's... It's water, right? It soaks into things. The water will soak into that towel up into what your book is laying on, and then you'll get like direct water on on your book, which you which you do not want. Um, another thing to mention is uh, all the, the water that I put in here is distilled water. Uh, you can go to you know grocery store and they sell things of distilled water. Uh, I don't, I don't have my, my thing, my thing of water down here um, right now. Uh, but you just go, you get some distilled water because if you, if you just use like tap water, there's stuff in tap water um, that you don't want humidifying into your book. You, you want distilled, purified distilled water. Uh, now, how much water do you put in? Uh, and for how long do you have it sit? Uh, so at this point, I would defer to the um, the Bible uh, of Comic Book CPR. Uh, if you are interested in um, uh, cleaning and pressing comics, you definitely need this. This gives you everything that you need to do from, I mean, it has a section in building humidity chamber um, and, you know, every, every technique that uh, I've shown on this channel, um, well, at least most of them uh, came from this book. So in, in this, you can get this on Amazon. Um, uh, it's by Captain Mike, tells himself Captain Mike, Michael Frederick Sorensen. Uh, he also has a very active Facebook page that um, I would suggest joining if, if you are interested in, in comic book pressing. Um, but So you can defer to, he has a chart in the book that gives the, num the, the, the time by the number of cups of water. Uh, the longer you put it in there, the less water you want. It's, so this is just to, to, to balance the amount of humidity that goes that goes in there. 
so if you're going to have it in there for, you know, 24 hours, it says have two cups um, and and so on. Um, I I do and, and so the, the, and this is just a guideline, of course. It depends upon environmental factors as well. Um, so, for example, I live in a very humid area. It's, it's humid already. So the book suggests for six hours, put in six cups of water. But since I'm already in a very humid area, um, I do six hours with four cups of water, and that seems to be good. Uh, also, when you do this, make sure that you are going to be available to take it out at the required time, right? You don't want to say, okay, I'm going to have this in for six hours. So I put in six cups of water and then, um, it turns out you are unavailable, um, and you, you can't get back home for, you know, 12 hours. Well, you've left it for twice the, you left it in for 12 hours with six cups of water when it should have been 12 hours, you know, with whatever, two cups of water, whatever that is. Um, so I always make sure, am I going to, when I put this in, if I put it for six hours, will I be home in six hours to take it out? Uh, if not, then I don't do it. Um, or I could tweak the timing um, with the, uh, um, the amount of water a little bit. But generally I do um, six hours with four cups of water. But again, that's because I'm in a, hu in a humid area. Um, and, and something that's a, a little more dry uh, might just go by by the book suggestion. Um, all right, so all we do now, water is already in there. Take the book, open it up to the center. Where's my center? my center. This is riveting for you all, I know. I think that's the center. Yeah, that looks like the center. And just set it in there. Put the top on. Set a timer. In my case, I'll set a timer for six hours and let it sit for six hours. Uh, and then when I take it out, I wanna make sure that I press it immediately uh, because I, you know, I, I want that moisture to be in there when I, when, when, I, when, I, when I flatten it. If I let it sit with that moisture in there, then I'm, I'm just gonna compound the problem. Um, so make sure you're there to take it out, given how much water you put in there and, and the timing. Uh, and then when you do take it out, make sure you have a press available and ready to go and put it right in there, and then you just you just press it as normal. That's it. Um, so that's all I got. Uh, again, a very, very simple thing. Um, just make sure that you're careful with it. Uh, not hard to make one of these things. Uh, not very expensive. So if you do press comics, this is something that you should definitely have. Uh, when do you humidify? When do you not humidify? That you kind of learn, in this case, is pretty obvious that I was going to need to add humidity in order for this, the, the, this to get pressed. Um, some cases, not, right? And, and putting a humidity chamber takes time. Right? So if, 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 I, if I put stuff in a humidity chamber for six hours, I wouldn't say it takes me six hours to humidify a book because I one, I have to find a time where I'm available to put it in, but I also know that I'm going to be home in six hours, so I, I can't like put it in before I go to sleep, right? Because I'm gonna sleep for maybe eight hours or, or, or so. Um, so I have to have a time where I know I'll be available, you know, six hours apart um, in, in this case. Um, usually what I, what I do uh, is I'll, I won't decide if I want to humidify a book until after I press it. So I'll press it and I'll see like, oh, there's some defects in here that are really, really tough, but I bet if I humidify it, then it will get them out. Um, in some cases in like this, 
I, I know it's going to need humidity, so I'm just going to do it first. Uh, but otherwise, I, I don't just jump to humidity because again, I only have one tank. Um, it takes time, and I it just it, with with the amount of, of work I have to do to, to get done to, to get back to customers, I just can't humidify everything. And you don't want to humidify everything. Uh, also, I'll say uh, I never humidify modern books. Um, that paper and ink does not take well to moisture at all. This is more, this is for your, like your, your copper and down where it has sort of the, you know, the, the newsprint ish style pages. Um, the, the, the paper that they use on modern books will not take well to moisture at all. You will just damage the book. So copper on down, um, dark. Um, is sketchy. Uh, I usually don't do dark, um, dark ages. So that's like your your '90s sort of stuff. Uh, I really just stick to um, copper on down. Um, so that's it. Um, I'm gonna seal this up, let it sit, and uh, we'll see what the results are after I take this out and uh, and press it. Hopefully, it'll be looking uh, a lot better. So that's it, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, we are back with our completed journey into mystery. Um, I ended up, so I had put this, uh, I believe I stated in the humidity chamber for six hours uh, with four cups of water. I took it out, pressed it. Um, I wasn't totally satisfied with, with um, how it came out. I, I don't think the six hours was enough. Uh, again, I, I'll, I'll do it sort of incrementally. I don't want to put it in for it any longer than I have to. Uh, so having it in there for six hours, pressing it, letting it fully dry, then I put it in again um, for, I think it's for 12 hours is what I had it in there for, uh, and then pressed it. And I was a lot more satisfied with, with the results there. Um, but it looks good. Uh, it's sitting down flat. The most telling thing, uh, if you know, there was a bunch of really bad rippling um, right here on the back, which um, which is now gone. So that is all. I'm gonna focus there. That is all flat there. Even at the different angles with the light, you can see that rippling is gone. It is just completely flat. And the, uh, the um, sitting in the humidity chamber definitely helped out quite a bit uh, to, to loosen that up and just, just in general get it to, to finally lay flat. Um, the, the, first, the first round that I had it and took it out, um, this this corner here was still kind of raised up a little bit, um, and I figured like no, that's that's not good enough. It just needs a little more time in the humidity chamber to to uh, to loosen it up a little bit, and then the second round of of that and and pressing made it come out. So I think just as as flat as as flat as it's gonna get. So happy with the results here. Hoping the customer is happy with it as well. Uh, I, I, I don't I don't expect there'll be uh, any problems there, uh, especially with how how well the the um, the ripples came out. Like you can't even tell that they were ever there, which is uh, which is the whole point. So that is all. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, have have you done any humidity chamber stuff before? Uh, is it something that you're willing to try? It's 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 not the dangerous of of you know, of, of all pressing methods, but you definitely have to be careful with it. Um, so uh, as, as always, if you try something new, be sure to get plenty of practice with it first uh, before uh, jumping into, jumping into um, valuable books. It's, it's, I mean, it's just, that's just advice across the board with any sort of pressing techniques, but that is it. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know uh, how your humidity chamber uh, adventures have gone and all that. Um, I'm curious to, to, to hear how you all are doing in uh, any of your pressing journeys. Um, but that's it. So like, comment, subscribe, and uh, of course, don't forget to make yours tighten.
This video was brought to you by Titan Comic Pressing. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Titan Comic Pressing LLC.